What's up guys, today we are doing another POV video with Sony A6000 of course and Sony 85mm f1.8 I have Axun Cinei behind me here on the camera so that I can record everything that the viewfinder sees so you can see whatever I see I'll have my phone connected here on the top it's cold, it's beautiful and we are out in the forest and the fields And in this place I have my amazing assistant as well, helping with A7 IV and the 35mm f1.8 from Sony, so that's for the B-rolls. And I think we are ready to go. So when it comes to settings, I will definitely want to start by setting the ISO to 100, because it's super bright outside and I think there's going to be plenty of light. Uh, when it comes to aperture, I'm going to shooting. I'm going to be shooting at either f1.8 or somewhere along those lines. And in case if the shutter speed is going to be too much, I'm just going to re uh, reduce the aperture, and in order to make it a little bit more friendly for the for the shutter speed. And other settings, I'm going to be actually shooting only RAWs today, so um, just going to change that to RAWs, and that's about it. I don't know how it's gonna be about the sound, but basically these piece of shit batteries of GoPro just ran out, they were fully charged. Uh, it took me to make two videos, we ran out of batteries, so there's no POV, but I hope I can still record a little bit of my screen at least and show you some pictures in this video if that's helpful, but I don't know, let's see. See you guys. So that's the reason why this is a failed POV video as there is no POV. I can't show you how I took these pictures but I'm gonna do some comments on these images and I hope you find it useful. When it comes to shooting with 85mm on APS-C you really get a far reach and subjects stand out so beautifully like in this photo. There's plenty of detail to work with and just look at that blurred background, magnificent. This wooden path runs through the whole swamp and I wanted to capture that little gate, so I got down, shot vertically and also closed the aperture a bit to have more of the path in focus. I changed the focus mode to flexible spot so the camera nails the focus on the gate and regarding the composition, since path provides nice leading lines, I wanted it to take two thirds of the image. I usually don't edit the winter photos too much since the raw photos already look awesome, however, I wanted to show you that the Copenhagen preset pack that you can get on my website works not only on street photos, but does a pretty good job on shots like these too. Of course, very creative edits, so treat them lightly as everyone has a different personal choice of how the edits should look like. In the seemingly busy background, try to find something that stands out either in height or like here, I focused on this little snowy branch as it was surrounded by dark eyes, making it pop. Change the height you take photos of. I purposely got really low as I wanted the trees to stand out against the overcast clouds. And since the lens is so zoomed in, it also allowed me to frame the shots better by having the foreground nicely blurred. And guys, don't forget to have fun shoot for fun, don't hold back, even though you might think the circumstances are not the absolute best, at least create the memories and enjoy the process. And even though my hand almost fell off because of the cold, at least it held up better than the GoPro batteries and even though this was a failed attempt on making POV video, I hope you still enjoyed it. Go out and shoot whenever you can and don't forget to keep on creating.